Hello everyone, I am the Shinkansen fan speaking, and in this video I will be explaining about the best trains in the United States, which can include diesel trains, electric trains, and steam trains. Alright, I am heading straight into my opinions so far about what are the best trains. So the first one I'll be explaining is the Pacific Surfliner, or formerly known as the Amtrak Surfliner. It is the most scenic route on the west coast, and also it's one of the most popular as well, carrying roughly over a million passengers every year. It's surprising of how popular it is too, because of Comic-Con and the San Diego Padres when days are very busy, when train consists are very long, when one or two locomotives are on each end. But when weekdays roll by, usually the train only has six cars, with only the one remaining locomotive and a cab car. Here are some really good examples of this train. This is a northbound train from San Diego, arriving at Fullerton. This was the time I was rail fanning with SoCal Train Fan and with this other rail fanning group. However, in 2018, the F-59 PHIs were replaced by the SC-44 Charger locomotives. It's sad to see them go, although they are serving well in other railways. Who knows what will replace the Siemens Charger locomotives next, but so far, the F-59 PHIs will never be forgotten by rail fans. Alright, now moving on to the second most best train in the USA. The Southern Pacific Daylight GS-4 Class 4449. It is a 484 steam locomotive that usually is operated up north for steam excursions in the Northwest USA. The locomotive is usually kept inside of an engine facility on 2250 SE Water Avenue in Portland, Oregon, if I am especially right on that. It is the only surviving locomotive in the United States. The locomotives were built by Lima Locomotive Works in the May of 1941. Built mainly for passenger streamline, it's surprisingly known as the most beautiful engine in the world, which it is very famous too. It was filmed in the movie Tough Guys, directed by Jeff Kanu, if I am pronouncing that right. Also, I don't want to be too specific on the history about this locomotive, because that should be a separate video for that. Okay, going a little too off topic, now for some examples. Alright, moving on to the next third best train in America, the Norfolk Western J-Class 611 locomotive. Another type of steam engine just like 4449. The locomotives were built to run on the N&W mainline between Norfolk, Virginia and Cincinnati, Ohio, pulling the Powhatan Arrow, the Poconots, and the Calpier passenger trains, as well as ferrying the Southern Railways, the Birmingham Special, the Pelican, and the Tennessean between Monroe, Virginia. In 1962, the engine has been restored twice, once as part of the Norfolk Southern Railway's steam program, and again as part of the BMT's Fire Up 611 campaign. Those were some included sources from Wikipedia, which might not sound that accurate, but I was just only including some facts. Okay, here are some examples of a video.
Wow, that was pretty impressive right there. Alright, moving on to the fourth best train in America. The Grand Canyon Railway. Located in northern Arizona, the scenery is quite breathtaking to look at, making it one of the best touristy railroads in the United States. However, I never really experienced riding on this train, but I have been to northern Arizona before. But I have seen it in several videos and in person too. But obviously never actually rode on it, like I said again. In the meantime, steam locomotives sometimes pull the consists of cars while mostly F40PH locomotives mostly do the job. But before diesel trains, it was obviously mostly steam trains. The railroad was built on September 17, 1901. Today, the railroad is owned by Zantera Parks and Resorts, if I'm pronouncing that right. Overall, this is a really great railroad, and it's pretty cool, too, to look at as well for rail fans from all over the country. Now for some obvious examples of this railway. Alright, moving on to the fifth best train in America, the Acela Express. The Acela Express is America's fastest train that operates on the Northeast Corridor between Boston, Massachusetts and Washington, D.C. It is the only operating high-speed train in America compared to Europe and Asia's other high-speed trains. The Acela started operations on December 11, 2000. The train carried more than 3.4 million passengers in fiscal year 2016. The high-speed network along the Northeast Corridor route consists of 16 intermediate stops, including Providence, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. However, the Excel Express will sadly be replaced with a newer high-speed train coming into the 2020s, which is the next generation of the Excel train. I will show some really good examples of this amazing iconic high-speed train in America. Alright, moving on to the final one. The sixth and final, Union Pacific 844. This one is the most interesting and the most unique one. Now before you start complaining about, oh Shinkansen fan, you didn't include the facts or incorrectly found information from Wikipedia sources, which I only wanted to include a bit of information given for this video so I don't get too specific here. Now shortly back into the topic. 
The Union Pacific 844, also known as the Living Legend, is a Class FEF-3484 molded type steam locomotive owned and operated by Union Pacific Railroad. The locomotive was built on December 24, 1944 during the Second World War to haul heavy passenger routes. In 1960, railroad leaders recognized the benefits of having a steam program and retained number 844 for special activities. The kernel of what has become the Union Pacific Steam Locomotive Fleet. Today, it is one of UP's oldest service locomotives and the only steam locomotive owned by a North American Class 1 railroad that has never been retired. The steam locomotive met up with Southern Pacific 4449 and raced along the Cajon Pass in 1989, together making it a very memorable event in railroad history. Now to grab one final example of this train. Thanks for watching and so long. And I know I didn't include Durango and Silverton or other tourist railroads across the country because there are a lot of other railroads and amazing locomotives out there that I didn't include in this video. Comment down below on what you guys think is your favorite railroad and locomotive.